Well, you see, your self-image is formed when you're in your little life, when you don't even have the ability to think. Now, self-image is just one idea. A multitude of ideas are a paradigm. Look at the people we're surrounded by. You know, uh, Robert uh, Heinlein said, in absence of clearly defined goals, we become strongly, strangely loyal to performing daily trivia until ultimately we become enslaved by it. Now think about that. In absence of clearly defined goals, we become strangely loyal to performing daily trivia until ultimately we become enslaved by it. Now think of the number of people that you know that are enslaved to daily trivia. They talk about nothing. They never accomplish anything. They get the same results. If they're short money now, they were short a year ago. They were short a year before that. They're forever getting a car on payment. The idea of going right in a check is just out of their mind. Why? Well, you see, that's probably what the people were doing that we surrounded by as we were little kids. And the ideas that just keep going in over and over and over again form the paradigm. A paradigm is nothing but a multitude of ideas that are fixed in the subconscious mind. And so here we are, as hard as it is to believe, 20, 30, 50, 60 years later, living exactly the same as we were programmed when we were little kids. Do you know that most people on welfare are fourth, fifth generation welfare recipients? It's rather strange. Now, what do we do? Well, we leave this situation and we go to school. What does school do? Well, let's look at it. School gave us valuable knowledge. However, school never taught us anything about paradigms. Therefore, we frequently do not do what we already know how to do. Now think, superior knowledge, think about it. Inferior results, what does that do? That causes confusion and frustration. Now think about this for a moment. We've gathered great knowledge, but we know nothing about the paradigm. So watch here. Here's the drawing, there's the model. There's all the knowledge we got in school. We've got it packed in there, but you know something? It doesn't equate to the results we're getting. You're gonna find absolutely brilliant people getting very bad results. You're gonna find people that are brilliant. They know exactly what to do, but they don't do it. Why? It's the paradigm that controls the behavior. Now listen, I've studied this for over half a century. I had no formal education. I had no business experience. I earned millions of dollars. I'm 81 years old. I've got more energy than most people that are 21. I have a sister-in-law that says he's 81, he looks about 60, and he's acts like he's about 30. Well, she did that down pretty good because that's just about the way it is. Why? It's because I understand how to use the mind. Now look it, if you want to change your results, if you really want to change the results, there's something that you've got to do. You've got to know how to change the paradigm. And if you don't change the paradigm, I don't care what, nothing's going to happen. You find people going back to school because they think if I got some more knowledge, no, no, you're not short on knowledge. We're short on behavioral patterns. And that's really what we have to do.